Hi everybody, it is August 23rd, 2019. You are looking at radar exploding. Doppler radar exploding. This is all of these pulses that you are seeing. You're also seeing extremely low frequencies. These lines that are uh, defined lines and everything pulsing. Okay. Keep this in mind. It's only 10.13 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My hunch, uh, by 1 o'clock this morning, we will see more states and more powerful Doppler radar pulsing away. The reason I am uh, pointing this out is because I am going to get to the effects on all of us due to these Doppler radar uh, pulsing very dangerous frequencies. I am doing this video because of this comment and also an experience that I had which I will tell you about after I read this comment. I definitely feel like these frequencies are killing me. They are. They are killing you. I am an empath and am sensitive to energies and I'm 34 years old. I've heard from teenagers, those in their 20s, 30s, 40s, suffering the effects of the saturation of dangerous electromagnetic frequencies that we, the, the saturation now, when you look at Doppler radar, when you look at these extremely low frequencies, which are in the blue, you can see that they fan out. Some people call them like uh, the pie cutouts. All of these very defined pie cutouts are extremely low frequencies. But then, think about the cell towers, the Gwen towers, the Wi-Fi, the smart meters, the cell phones, the electronic gadgets, the new appliances, your cars, new cars. Uh, we, the, the saturation now has become so, well, it's deadly. And many people are suffering the effects. Uh, I think it possibly can't get worse, and it does. My memory, forgetting mid-thought, common words I'm trying to use and can't think of, more than just extreme fatigue, but also I'm constantly walking around with that vest you have to wear on your shoulders, the chest for an x-ray. Uh, feels like something is weighing me down. I know that feeling well, and that is a very good way to describe it. I used to be a go, go, go person. I don't know what to do. If anyone knows how to fight these frequencies, the number one that all the experts say, the number one thing is to reduce your exposure. If you have Wi-Fi in your home, get rid of it and ground your internet access with an ethernet cord. If you are hanging out in a room or you sleep, your bedroom has a smart we uh, meter on the external wall of that room, then try to find another room that you can sleep in. Do not hang out in a room with a smart meter on the external wall. If you have a lot of electronic gadgets, begin to change your behavior. Get rid of them. Do not use your cell phone. Use it for emergencies. Get a flip top phone, uh, which are, uh, they're dangerous as well, but they're nothing like a smartphone and an iPhone. Do not use that phone in your car with your windows closed. 
it's a very dangerous condition that you are putting yourself in because the frequencies that you are pulling into your car whenever you're using that phone the minute you turn on that phone you're pulling the frequencies from a cell tower nearby very intensely towards you into you into you and the frequencies uh, do not escape the car so you're sitting in very dangerous frequencies when you are using that cell phone in your car uh, I do not promote products because uh, well I have heard from a lot of people like Barry Trower who is uh, ex-military uh, UK military he was a specialist in microwave warfare and he and others have said uh, he doesn't know of any products that actually work to shield these frequencies. Now, a lot of people have claimed that organite works for them or shungite, shungite works for them, um, but it doesn't work for other people. So you need to do the research. If you have the resources, uh, there's clothing out there that people are selling. Unfortunately, a lot of people are selling things that do not work. And people are buying them because they are desperate to find things that do work. And I can't, I can't say anything unless it works for me. And I have yet to find anything that has given me relief. I am hypersensitive. I became hypersensitive years and years ago. Uh, I live in an area that is that has a lot of cell phone towers, a lot of antennas, smart meters, uh, and Wi-Fi. I live in an apartment, in an apartment, and my neighbor on one side has always had Wi-Fi. Last week, I see Charter Spectrum coming to the other neighbor on the other side. I was walking out the door at the same time my neighbor was, and I said, did you get Wi-Fi? And she said, yes. And I can't really remember how the conversation went verbatim, but I said, do you know how dangerous those frequencies are? Without hesitation, she said, yes. She said, yes, without hesitation like she knew that these frequencies are dangerous. What is it with Americans uh, that they don't care about their own health? So then she said, well, I needed the Wi-Fi because when I <laughs> uh, uh, need my laptop on the other side of the apartment, do you know how small these studio apartments are? I said, well, there are cords. She said, oh, yeah, I guess. And we went on talking about the frequencies, and I said, they are destroying people's lives. Now, I am very selective in who I talk to now because of what has happened to me in Anderson. I don't recall ever having a conversation with this woman about my sensitivity to these frequencies but I said these frequencies are destroying people's lives she smiled and said I'm not trying to kill you with a smile on her face uh, the frequencies come through uh, I may as well have Wi-Fi I don't I have an Ethernet cable. I have my internet access grounded, but it doesn't matter. I live in an apartment complex with smart meters. The Wi-Fi now is on either side of me, and since that Wi-Fi started in her apartment, I have been having strange symptoms. And uh, uh, some of the symptoms that I've always experienced, I seem to be having them more frequently. Uh, vertigo, I've had vertigo episodes. 
in this apartment. Dizziness, loss of balance, headaches. I, headaches are not my thing. Headaches, chronic physical pain, and my feet have been swollen. My legs feel swollen just up to the knees, not any further. That could also be a Gwen Tower, which is, well, as the crow flies, about a mile away from me. Gwen Towers e emit extremely low frequencies through the ground. At times, I do feel the vibration. Um, and a very, I, I can't even explain, very strange... Uh, almost like a muscle contraction in my legs and I have to pay attention to how I am walking. I am not happy <laughs> that I am now pretty much sitting in Wi-Fi and you know, these frequencies are very dangerous. I know that if this world of ours did not manifest, I would be feeling uh, much better. I exercise pretty much every single day, and I feel most days like I've never exercised ever. I lift weights while I walk. It should have gotten easier. It's not getting easier. It feels like I've never done any of the exercise that I am, that I've been doing for, well, I've been walking for years and the weight lifting has been certainly the last six months, virtually every day. I should not be feeling the way I'm feeling, but I do feel that way. Um, and when I hear from subscribers who are really suffering, yeah, it's, I identify, um, you know, people who have the resources can move, uh, if you can opt out of your smart meter, if you have one, uh, I suggest doing that. Some people move to areas where the antennas and cell towers are not, uh, so there's not such a concentration of them. But I want to get to some new information that I've been seeing. This video was posted on Environmental Health Trust's channel which I highly recommend subscribing to and sharing with an awful lot of people. This was posted today. Oregon passes bill on wireless health effects in schools. And it's, it's a good video to pass to parents who have children in schools with cell towers on the property and they're sitting in these classrooms with Wi-Fi, blasting away for seven hours a day, and they're staring at iPads or, you know, whatever it is, laptops. I want to play a few minutes of this video, which is another video that I hope that you share, especially to parents. This was posted 2011. All of this information has been known for years. Ha for years. And uh, 2019, when I look at these, uh, at this site, the radar, the use of the frequencies, the different frequencies, Doppler radar, everything has increased. The power levels certainly have increased the use of microwaves, extremely low frequencies, and d radar operates in the millimeter wave, millimeter wave, 5G, blasting away at all of us. 
and we also have satellites beaming down frequencies. So everything, all the satura, it's not just, it, it, nothing has stayed constant. Our environment just continues to get more dangerous all the time. All the time. Now, the kids in school, that this is still going on, thank God, Oregon, finally, you know what the bill was? For the Department of Education in, in uh, Oregon, to look into the studies that show adverse effects. And it, there was no nay. It was like, uh, you see the vote at the end. The woman who, the woman who introduced the bill is, uh, she was a public health nurse. She introduced this bill and she actually says that she was laughed at for introducing a Wi-Fi bill for the Department of Education to look into the studies of these adverse effects. Who, what is this? What is wrong with Americans when there are so many studies out there that prove that children especially, because they're so susceptible, vulnerable, to these frequencies because they are, well, their brains are still developing, their skulls are not as strong as adult skulls. These frequencies penetrate their brain far easier than the adult brain. And she gets laughed at. Something is very wrong with Americans. So uh, at the tail end, you will see they're taking the vote and it passes with uh, 25 to 25 to 0 that's good that's good however teachers know how dangerous this Wi-Fi is I've spoken to them children are getting sick I've spoken to parents with kids in school and I have yet to see it register on them that you know the children are sitting in dangerous environments teachers themselves could get Wi-Fi out of our schools if teachers would band together and not show up for work until the Wi-Fi is removed, until the cell towers are removed. Parents could get Wi-Fi out of schools if they stopped sending their children to these dangerous environments. And then they come home, a lot of them come home to a dangerous environment with smart meters and Wi-Fi blasting away. What are we doing? It's frightening. All right, 2011. This is a great video. And this man is testing, testing the frequencies in a school in Plainfield, Vermont, the Callis school elementary school watch this with all this said let's get to the actual testing for microwave radiation in order to give these school readings some context let's first take some background measurements in our local environment in this first clip you can see that we're outside the maple corner community center and the meter is showing 12.7 in the second clip you can see that we're at Curtis Pond, and the meter is showing 14.0. Uh, here we are at the East Palace Post Office, and the meter is showing 11.1. So what do these numbers mean? As a point of reference, here is a measurement taken out in the forest, away from all but the most distant sources of radiation. The meter shows 11.1. 
when you compare the readings from this remote natural setting to the other readings that we took in town, you can see that there really isn't that much in terms of background radiation in our local environment. Now that we've done the background environmental testing, let's go over to the school. The Cal School's Wi-Fi system is set up with five routers placed in various locations in the building. There is Wi-Fi access throughout the school with emphasis in certain areas such as the library, the community learning classroom, and the upper grades. All children in the school currently use Wi-Fi and even laptops. Children in the lower grades share a set that is wheeled around in a cart, and children in the upper grades have their own for full-time use. Thanks to the help of the Director of Technology Services, we were able to set up one of the upper grade classrooms for our test. So here we are at the 5th and 6th grade classroom, meters showing 500. We're approaching the router, which is where it's going to be the highest. And as the number goes over 999, it's going to show a new digit there to look good. 6 point something, that means 6,000 right next to the router. Out in the middle of the room, it's around 700 or 800. And as we approach the laptops, they themselves have a wireless transmitter in them because they need to be able to communicate with the router across the room. So it becomes a stronger signal right next to the, the transmitter, which is in the back of the screen. Here you can see close to the front of the laptop where your lap would be or where the student would be sitting. The numbers are several thousand, two to three thousand. So here we have the classroom test results. In the center of the room, it was 800 millivolts per meter. In the direct vicinity of the laptops, it was around 1,000 millivolts per meter. And in front of the laptop, it was 2,857 millivolts per meter. And of course, I knew that the numbers were going to be high. But I had no idea that they were going to be that high. To give you an idea of how high these are, I went and I took test readings at a cell phone tower in the area. And the readings show pretty much the same as what's in the classroom, but nowhere near what the children would be exposed to if they were leaning over their Wi-Fi enabled laptops. These laptops and the Wi-Fi network produce three times the microwave radiation of a cell phone tower. Most of us would never imagine that this would be the case because it doesn't make sense. It was never explained to us before and we'd never even know about it if it weren't for a meter. Would you as a parent, even for a second, consider a cell phone tower on school grounds? How about one in the classroom? Well, without even knowing it, you can send it to placing one in your child's lap. And you know what? There are parents who know. And they don't stop sending their children to school. The teachers know those that I have spoken to, they keep showing up to work in dangerous environments. What are we doing here? All right. Giant 5G drones are being planned for the skies over Hawaii, then the world. 5G drones. Massive football field-sized drones flying in the stratosphere, beaming down toxic 5G radiation into the earth, into the ocean, into our homes, into our bodies. Sounds like something out of a science fiction nightmare? This is the Hawk 30 program. And <laughs> sponsors, uh, tech giant Soft Bank of Japan, defense contractor, Aero Viriment of California and Alphabet, yeah, Google. Google, government, same thing. Google, not a private company. Google is government. Uh, it is a nightmare. 
So more 5G. It's not just the cells, but drones up above us will be emitting 5G. We are going to see death on a scale. I don't think we know what, uh, how many people are dying. You, uh, uh, you Leave me a comment below. Do you know a lot of people who are dying suddenly? Young people or old people dying when they should not be dying. Because I've heard from an, a lot of subscribers and a lot of people, neighbors. Uh, this friend of mine had her brother die suddenly. He was 54, I think. All right. Um, how many of you feel okay? Leave comments below, please. Do you feel like you, know, you are doing everything to feel okay, but still struggling? Are you having difficulty functioning? Basic functioning? Are you exhausted? Well, how about this? Um, a mem illustrating electro, uh, electromagnetic hypersensitivity. Do any of these symptoms apply to you or your family members after the smart meter was installed in your home? But it doesn't have to be a smart meter. Uh, look, we have these frequencies blasting away, coming from Gwen Towers and cell towers and cell phones and Wi-Fi and satellites. Electronic gadgets, appliances, TVs, problems sleeping, headache, learning problems, ringing in ears, fatigue, eye problems, leg cramps, heart problems, balance problems. I have every one of them. These adverse health problems, <coughs> excuse me, probably will become nothing short of an imagined picnic in the park when after 5G millimeter wave technology platforms are rolled out across the US and the globe from various formats, including special mammoth drones high above the planet. This is Catherine Frompovich, who uh, I, she's a power of example. She's in her 80s and she is still writing away. We are entering an era of total tech domination, wherein no one will be safe from constant 24-7, 365 microwave radio frequency radiation. No one will be safe. No one. But no one was safe with 4G or 3G, 2G, 1G. You know, remember this guy? The former FCC chairman? Tom Wheeler at a press conference introducing 5G. Listen to this psychopath. I, I, something is very wrong with this guy. And look at the senior lobbyist, CTIA. We'll get to that in a second. Well, the, the brilliant, brilliant engineers, engineers have, have developed, developed new antennas, antennas that, that can aim and an amplified signal. And to make this work, five, the 5G build-out is going to be very infrastructure intensive, requiring massive deployment of small cells. I'm confident that the actions will lead to a cornucopia of unanticipated, innovative uses that will generate tens of billions of dollars in economic activity. And that's damn important because it means that U.S. companies will be the first out of the gate. And that is why 5G is a national priority. And stay out of the way of technological development. Unlike some countries, we do not believe that we should spend the next couple of years studying what 5G should be 
how it should operate. The future has a way of inventing itself. Turning innovators loose is far preferable to expecting committees and regulators to define the future. We won't wait for the standards. Did you hear that? Okay. Well, the FCC is an incredibly powerful agency. And yeah, we do that thing where the president appoints the chairman. Trump appointed Ajit Pai, who's, who was a lawyer for Verizon, a lobbyist. But it's an independent agency. It is far more powerful than Congress or the president. National priority. Trump signed on to that. Trump is fully behind the telecommunications industry. And Trump has uh, basically said the telecommunication industry, you can do whatever the hell you want to do. Forget about local and state law. Put those cells anywhere you want. Yeah, Mr. Constitutional, huh? Um, if you have not seen this video, telecom industry hid data on cell phones, causing brain tumors, lied about safety. This guy was the head of CTIA. I can't remember what it stands for, but you will see what it stands for in this video. Now, when cell phones, before they came out, the telecommunication industry funded studies. Those studies came back showing brain tumors, the frequencies were carcinogenic. They hid that data, those studies, and then provided Congress with studies that showed, oh, these frequencies are safe. What did Congress do? Did Congress fund independent studies? No. They took Wheeler's word for it, and they rolled out cell phones. 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G. Each generation has been more dangerous. Cell phones were known to be uh, emitting dangerous frequencies, giving you cancer, giving you brain tumors. This guy is uh, truly, I, 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 look, I don't even know words for these people. They, they are mutants. They are that's damn important. Money, 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 money. Do they care that children are dying of cancer? That children now are getting brain tumors? That cancer has uh, the exponential increase in all disease? Do they care? No. No. Because, well, it's not just about money, but it's also about surveillance, control, a control, well, if you've read 1984, it's 1984 on steroids. And I have a playlist, so you can check out 344 videos. And several of the videos are about 5G, which is the millimeter wave, which is the wave on the electromagnetic spectrum our military has been using and with 5G they can look into your home look onto your body everything that you're carrying every bag every suitcase every briefcase every pocketbook and that will be 24 7 if you're carrying something that the authorities 
feel is a danger, in real time, they will pick up that object and you will be brought to the authorities. Questioned, investigated, that's where all of this is going. So I also have, um, yeah, I, I, look, it gets a little, you kind of think, what the hell are you doing? You've been doing this for eight years. You've been trying to get through to people. You hear from a neighbor just last week who knows that these frequencies are dangerous and, you know, I'm now smack in between two Wi-Fi neighbors. Um, I'm experiencing, you know, the physical effects and the cognitive effects. Do they care? No. No one cares. No one cares. I have a neighbor who I have told repeatedly that her symptoms may very well be because of the Wi-Fi that she's sitting in. She doesn't care. And she's got a lot of very serious symptoms. All right, I'm going to stop this video here and I'm going to do a part two. Yeah. Uh, it's, the jury has already rendered its verdict. You know, when I see these, okay, another review, risks to health and well-being from radio frequency radiation emitted from cell phones and other wireless devices. And here is the, the review. It's a review. How many reviews do we have to do? I mean, we have so many studies, thousands upon thousands of studies showing the adverse effects of these frequencies. Uh, and these frequencies are just getting more and more dangerous. You know, none of this is going to stop until the American people uh, care. Until the American people care about the environment that they are living in until they care about their children, they care about their own health. Outside of that, this is just going to be rolling on and more and more people will die because of it. So, you know, what does it show? Uh, the review shows all of the symptoms from Wi-Fi, from microwave radiation. children exposed to it. It goes deeper into their brain structures. Uh, all right, well, all links are below and I'll pick up because this is going on too long. I'll just pick up from where I left off in the next video.